Hey, it's Nasty4. Today, God boxes 7 and 8. We've reached a halfway point of the OPG case. So let's get into it. Uh, it's been a pretty good case so far. A lot of uh, decent stuff. Only one Zegris rookie, though, and it was damaged. And it was the uh, Tall Boy, too, which is probably the worst Zegris card you can get out of this stuff. So yeah, let's hope we find some more. A yeah, parallel would be nice. Uh, I found plenty of Caulfield. Uh, one Knight, one Yuko Pekalukinen, and no Swayman yet either, so maybe Zegers comes in this box. Hopefully that is the case. Alright, let us begin. OP time. Oh, I've got a platinum preview in the first pack. I was wondering what that silver thing was. And uh dawned on me. Matthews League Leaders. Larson. Uh retro. Looks like Nathan McKinnon. Yossi and Nathan McKinnon. Platinum preview. This is the base version. This is the second platinum preview of the case and the uh, first one was a parallel this is just the base and uh, yeah it's decent I don't think platinum's gonna look exactly like this they always change it up the previews are always a little different but uh yeah I'd expect this like sort of dulled out gray border to be like reflective like this but, yeah there's a little look at Platinum. I think the design is way better this year than last year. They look good. The rookies look really good today. They look like 14, 15. Uh, little peachy. It's pretty nice. I like them. Alright. Let's continue on. Devils. Mantha. Panarin. Tall boy. Timo Meyer, Kopitar. It's cool. I pulled the blue version of that in one of my boxes, one of my first two boxes. It's a cool card. There he is. Trevor Zegras asking you shall receive the base version. Not bad. JT Miller Retro and a Philip Deneau Blue. Philip Deneau, very good on the Kings. Him and uh, Arvidsson and Trevor Moore. The Mad Line. Really good. Here's another black. Sorokin. Forsberg. And uh, Nicholas Obekubel. Black. Still no black... Uh, Rookies are high numbers. 67 of 100. Hopefully we do get one of those. What is this? That's something white. Ah, okay. Nick Delorier. Anton Strawman, And we have one of the bounty cards. Now the puzzle pieces. This is OPG9, so you scratch that off, put a little code in the bounty thing. And if you get all, I think it's nine, nine of them, you uh, get a card. So, yeah, uh, top draft, I think the card is Zegris, I'm not sure. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it's a... Thing Upper Deck's been doing kind of to replace the Rapper Redemption program. Philip Gustafson, Rookie, Pareko, and Lindholm. They did do it first in 2015-16, uh, though, and they had a McDavid uh, bounty or redemption card, I guess you could say. Obviously pretty valuable now.
Fabro Retro, and a Joker of Nash. These are also short prints. Pulled an Ace of Matthews, I think, in one of the previous boxes. I think in box six. Pulled Matthews, and uh, yeah, this is a Joker. Jokers are uh, both mascots. It's, of course, gritty, and as you can see, Nash. Blues, Michael, and Connor Murphy Blue. And a red in here. It's in a different spot. Usually it's in this, this row here, the one to the left. We do not have a blank back, though. You can see it's got a back, so it's not a one of one Flames, Bertuzzi, and Evgeny Kuznetsov. Red. And his teammate right after it. Ovechkin. I don't know if there's blank backs of these. I know there were in previous years, but I don't think there are this year, unless I missed something. I'm pretty sure there's not. McDavid, season highlights. Verana. And Hedman. And base. Zach Jones, marquee rookie. Ingram, retro. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty good box. Uh, the Joker of Gritty. These are supposed to be pretty tough. So, that's good. Gritty and Nash in the same box, putting together the deck. See the odds on these. Where are they? Yeah, the Joker mascots are one in 203 packs. Yeah, we got both of them in the same box, so beating the odds pretty good on this one. And we got green. Nicholas Backstrom, season highlights, and it's not a rookie, it is Andre Burakovsky. These look so good, I love the colors on these. Super old school look. Burakovsky, neon green, 20 of 50. Zuccarello. There's Swayman. First Swayman of the case. Wow, this is a crazy box. He's going in and a Crosby Ace. These are also short print. And playing card hot case, or hot box, I should say. Let's see what the odds on those are. The Aces are 100, 1 in 102 packs. So doing pretty good on the playing cards. And a plate. Wow, this box is loaded. Look at that. We got a plate. So we've got three short print um, playing cards. We have the McKinnon uh, Platinum Preview. Green, Zegris, uh, base, Swayman base. Pretty good. Save that plate for last. Campus Lindholm, New Hook uh, Retro Rookie, Panthers uh, Blue. New Hook's decent. Hurricanes Retro and a Matthew Kachuk Blue. Let's see what the plate is. Let's see about something uh metal. Colin rookie. And a fox and not a tall boy. Jaeger sharing Govich. And let's see. Not a rookie. Malcolm Suban plate. Well, not a big name, but it's still a plate. And what was a super good box? Malcolm Subban. Magenta plate. One of one. So that's pretty good. 
not bad at all so yeah that was nuts like three short print no four short print inserts um a plate zegris swayman yeah that was a good box that was loaded see if it can continue this i know you can get multiple plates in a case i've seen it before in fact uh there was a case i saw with two plates and a red blank pack one of one so three one of ones in a case yeah that's pretty good especially for opg you don't even get that in the cup actually you probably do but they're all plates Although, I don't know, maybe you don't. I, I can't remember. It's been so long since I watched Cup Breaks, since Cup is not very good value-wise. I always watch them, and it also hasn't released in such a long time. It's been like two years since the Cup release. But David League Leaders, Yala, and Yossi. Patrick Kane, season highlights. Hellebuck, and I follow Blue. Now R2 Rostelainen, Marky Rookie, Leonard Retro, and uh, Kaliev Rookie Updates. Still using that one picture from his debut. You ever see a Kaliev card with the reverse retro jersey? That's a picture from his NHL debut. That was the only game he played that season. Tice Thompson, rookie. Brat, retro, and a blue checklist. It'd be funny to get a blank back checklist. That would be kind of weird. Alright, retro checklist of the blues, got a blank back, Elliot blue, and base. One of the base cards in this pack did not survive the, uh, not survive the, uh, packaging process, look at that, Ooh. Thankfully, it looks like it's just going to be a base, though. Panthers, Reinhardt, and Panarin. And, yeah, just a John Gibson base. And I'm sure we've already pulled plenty of in this case. A green in here. Still looking for a green short print base. Sharon Govich, Kempe, and... Ooh, that's nice. Carey Price. Green. It's pretty good. 18 of 50. Canadians OPG cards sell pretty good. I've found him. Carey Price is obviously a good name. Cool one to get. Even if I were to not sell it. There's something white in here. That's always fun. Something white in here. A white edge. What is it? Not another puzzle piece. Grimaldi, and Opichi 5 for the bouncy. Well, that's interesting. The uh, patches were side by side in the case, and these were as well. So, curious. Yanni Gord. And a king of McKinnon. I think these are somewhat rarer, but not Ace or Joker. Short print. Level. Not that rare. Crosby season highlight. Archibald. And John Carlson. Since getting that plate... Seeing the playing cards kind of makes me think 
Maybe we got another plate coming, but it's possible, but unlikely. Vevi or Venny Vevaline, and he's out of the league. John Gibson and Philip Zadina Blue. Rodine and a carry price. Tall boy. There's our red. Canadians checklist, Zuccarello, and another base of Ramen Leonard. Red. No, I didn't know Vetchkin. Tall boy. Still one numbered card, I think. Should be looking for one more, I'm pretty sure. I, I've never seen a box with two greens. I haven't seen that yet, so it's probably just going to be a black. Unless we already got one, but I don't think we did. It's not in here. Uh, Garrett Pilon, rookie. Jake Allen, retro, and a king of Patrick Kane. Pretty sure those are a little tougher. Yeah, Jokers and or Jackson Kings are one in thirty four. They're not that tough though. Is that another plate? No, it's not. Okay. I thought I saw that was metal shine. It's not. Tanner Janot rookie, it's the first sighting of him in this case. Justin Falk, and a David Pasternak. Ten of spades. Two packs left. There's the black. That's a good looking card. I know I keep saying that for these, but these season highlights and the team leaders. Retro is so nice. A team checklist black of the Canucks. 88 of 100. Nate Schmidt number. See on this checklist? Yep. 337. 337. Elite. It's a Nate Schmidt jersey number one of them. Was that Corey Perry? Yes, it was. I think that's the first Corey Perry setting of this case. And last pack. Oh, that's a good, uh, Good way to go out. Trevor Zegras Retro Rookie. Not bad. And a King's Team Checklist. That would have, would have been real. I, I would have been really happy with that pack. And that is it. That was really good for two boxes. Um, Yeah. Shows you OPG can be pretty good. So uh, that is it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.